us out of that. I didn't get to hit him while he was staggered. Oh wow, I missed the important one. Oh no! Mm. <laughs> I realized it the last second. Man, that sucked. When uh, when he was staggered, I could not get a heavy attack off. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The donkey head works 100% of the time, 50% of the time. <laughs> I beat this boss after I equipped donkey head. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. That's a, that's a lot of data to go from, guys. I mean, we might just have to try it with all that data. Oh. Is this the last boss of the tutorial, or is there more after this? I'm hoping there's more, but I, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the last boss of the tutorial either. Or, I said tutorial, I meant demo. Aha! This. It is the last one? Okay. Do feel like the nightstick seems to do more damage than the electric mace, somehow. Can you buy the full game? The full game is released in September. Ah, oh, I missed the first parry. And I missed that one. Well, we're off to a terrible start. Dude, that, yeah, I've never done an attempt where he did that piercing right-handed move this many times. I was dodging backwards. I was doing the dodge. It still got me, though. I wasn't even in control of my character from me standing up from the last hit. Okay, uh, I've, <laughs> I feel like the donkey head is the worst luck. That is the worst attempt of the last seven. <laughs> the donkey head made him do the piercing move that's like the hardest one to block. Just He just spammed it. You can't see with the donkey head? Yeah. Alright. 
a hundred percent of the time we wiped with the donkey head. So I don't know. I feel like that that's some pretty concrete data to me. The blouse, oh my god. We're we're just we're becoming like very superstitious here. There we go. You have to 100% without it too. But the with the donkey head, it was like the worst <laughs> that worst attempt. I hit the wrong button. I didn't mean to use a heal there. That was a block, not a fury. Yes! Heal. God, if you get hit by one of those, you're getting hit. Buy both of those. That was a block, not a parry. Oh god. Get out of that, get out of that, get out of that. Oh, I, okay. I thought I parried that. I guess not. <sighs> Got to use the donkey head again against windmill. Uh, Giants guaranteed to work then. You have no more losses uh, without it than with it. Oh my gosh. I, I I agree with the donkey head cutting into my field of view there. That that seemed worse. Blouse. This is the blouse. Is this not the blouse? Let's try the uh, the schoolboy outfit. Try nothing. <laughs> Just run in there naked. That, that is a power move. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Damn, I feel like the dodge key in this game is not immediate. Like, it's like you press the button to boot up a dodge. <laughs> like, it, you press the button to go to the dealership to buy the dodge. And then it'll happen sometime after. The parry is very responsive.
Sit down. I wonder, can I do this and then do the move? I can. I could squeeze in another strong attack there. Stamina, strong attack again, and then the big one. Start repairing in front of him, power move. That demoralizes him. Lightning. No! I, I was in a dodge. Okay, we have enough health. This isn't over just because of this. Dang, no. Miss the parry. I was in a heal animation. Oh, man. All in! I greeted. Man, dude, I felt like I was going flawless for like 80% of that, and then it was just like a freaking series of unfortunate events. Ah, first try with the schoolboy outfit. <laughs> dude, you're how cocky he was. I was like, repair right in front of him just to uh, show up to moralize him. Verigny's Guide. Dear citizens of Krat, the factory has been occupied by the puppets. Whatever the cause, Verigny Company is responsible for it. I, Lorenzi Venigny, am al going alone to stop those devils. The factory is very dangerous now. Stay out of it and keep safe. I'll leave the uh, the rest I'll leave for Mr. Geppetto, whom I trust more than anyone. God save us all. Regards, Lorenzini Venigny. I, I tried. Venigny. <laughs> Whew, I think we're done here, pal. Back to the hotel. You know what would be funny is if you go back to the hotel and the lady is like, Welcome back, puppet. Uh, buy the full game. That's it for the demo. Just like, just blatant. Just absolutely blatant. Krat established strict rules regarding entry into the city in an effort to prevent its puppet technology from leaking. When the petrification disease started spreading the wildfire, it was those same rules that trapped the citizens within the city walls. Ten minutes of DD2. <laughs> um. You saved Geppetto. Wonderful. I'm amazing. He is on the second floor. He can hardly wait to see you. Uh... 
There he is. Whoa, look at this. It looks like the chair that uh, we woke up in at the beginning of the game. Dude, one thing I haven't commented on so far while we've been playing this, it's gorgeous. Like, freaking props to their graphics team. Everything, just everything looks amazing. Ah, you've returned. Forgive a sentimental father for worrying about his son. Always remember that you're precious to me. Even when I ask you to do something dangerous. Speaking of which, there's a factory just beyond the Lycian Boulevard. It's packed with countless puppets. My friend, the inventor Venini, went to stop them. Venini, that's how you but say he it. never came back. Please go save him and shut down the factory. Organs are the source of your powers. Collect quartz to get the strength you need. Dude, that looks rad. That's what was at the title screen on the main menu. I didn't realize it was a heart. Remember, the hotel is the last safe place in Krat. It's our only refuge in a city full Why is there a clock on it? Because it's not steampunk if you don't slap a clock It'll on it. It'll be extremely dangerous if anyone has ill intentions. Be careful who you tell about this place. Especially if they're stalkers or alchemists. Be wary of dangerous people. And always be a good boy to me. A good boy! Thank you for playing. Oh, that's beautiful. That's gorgeous. Dude, they had a cinematic at the end. So, if we use this, activate P organ. Whoa. Use the P organ slots to activate characters' latent abilities. Equip quartz on the P organ to obtain its corresponding effect. If you equip quartz in each of the slots in a single group, you can gain the group's synergy effect. Oh, it's like a talent tree? Each time synergy effects of two groups are activated, the next step's unlocked. You can get a greater variety of effects as you take your porgon to higher phases. All right, well, let's, let's poke around. What kind of stuff are we gonna get to look forward to? Oh gosh, um, it is difficult to navigate this. Oh, you could just left click. Okay, I was like, I was clicking here and moving the mouse around and that works, but it's really jarring, but you could just left click, okay. Increase the number of maximum pulse cell uses. Okay, so that's S discharges. Um, enables another dodge in the middle of a dodge motion. So you can chain dodges together. Okay. Uh, increases max number of charge fable slots. I admit, I very rarely use this. Like, the, the weapons I tried, like when you would just tap F and you would use a fable charge and do a big hit, the strong attack hit harder. Plus it went into the, you know, you know, make them groggy, knock them senseless thing. Um, and then there was like the defensive version, but it, uh, it, I, I never timed it well. I didn't really get to see it shine. Um, increase the groggy available window. Okay, uh, yep, 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 yep. I like that the, the picture makes it very clear what it's talking about, I like that. Phase two must be activated, okay. So I got one quartz from beating that boss. Enables another dodge. Enhance the groggy attack of charge attacks. Enhance the attack of fatal attacks. What's a fa I mean, wait, a, a fate. okay. I, I, I understand fatal to just mean like the killing below. Why do you need to increase the... Wait, is fatal the hit after groggy? Maybe, maybe Fatal might be the huge hit after the groggy. Enhance the attack of Fable Arts. Increase groggy duration.
So, do I have the Link Dodge now, or do I have to fill both slots to get it? Try and see. I don't know if I can uh, check here in the... Doesn't really feel like it. You cannot equip multiple quartz from the same type. So all of this is the same kind of quartz. Okay, so I don't think we can really check during the demo. Because we got one quartz from the final boss that we just did. Um, hit E? Oh, 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 the tabs. Okay, cool. Okay, thanks. Uh, enhanced guard recovery, fatal attack pulse cell charge. Lowers the damage received when pulse cells are discharged. Lower damage, lowers the da lowers the damage received when dodging. That tells me you can get hit while dodging. Which tells me maybe it doesn't have iframes? I don't know. Or maybe it just means like, maybe it's like this is the dodge, but iframes are here and the rest of it you can get hit. I'm not sure. Legion magazine. Increase the possession of consumables. Throwing objects. Enables another dodge in the middle of a dodge. There. Okay. Now this. Now th look. It's definitely different now. Dude, you can spam it. It's not just two. It's as many as you have stamina for. We can we can full Dark Souls roll spam now. <laughs> okay. All right. Yo, that was awesome. That was a lot of fun. All right. You know what, chat? I, 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 I might do a little uh, a little review here. You know, I usually save these for the end of games, but this is the end of what we have available until September. So, real quick. Here we go. Lies of P. We just finished the Lies of P demo. Took us a few hours, but of course I'm terrible at games, so it took me many attempts on some of the bosses. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what this is, maybe they're watching this later on YouTube. This is a Pinocchio themed, like, uh, you remember there was like that Alice game, it was like a dark version of Alice in Wonderlands. This is dark version of Pinocchio uh, in a world that's kind of like Dark Souls. And it was a lot of fun. Um... The, the, the combat felt nice, the parrying was extremely responsive, the movement is fluid, it feels great to move around in. The dodging was really janky at first, but then we got this uh, upgrade later on that allowed us to um, uh, chain dodges together and it made it feel much more normal compared to other Souls-like games uh, and other games I've played with dodging recently. Um, the uh, all in all the gameplay felt really really good the only complaints i've got is in the settings window in the settings menu uh, i played on keyboard and mouse and dash and dodge are the same button so like if you're sprinting and something swings at you and you want to dodge you have to let go of sprint wait a microsecond for the game to register that button's no longer being pressed down and then tap the same key again uh, which led to me getting clocked a lot while I was trying to sprint past enemies because I couldn't get it to dodge. I would love for those to be on separate keys. Uh, that was really rough. Um, there was a lot of tool tips that were really vague, but, you know, it's freaking Dark Souls. They, they always do that. Uh, so there's a lot of tool tips. Like, at the very beginning, when you pick your starting weapon, it'll tell you the stats on it, but it doesn't tell you what any of the stats actually mean. So it's like, you know, this has plus five motivity, plus four technique, and you're like, what does that mean? And you kind of figure it out later on, uh, but they don't really tell you at the beginning. So that's the thing. Uh, but you, you kind of, as you're leveling up, when, you know, when you, like, hover over putting a point in something, you see what levels up and it makes more sense. And it's like, oh, okay, that's what it is. Uh, other than that, you know, like, vitality is health, vigor is stamina, capacity is carry capacity, motivity is just, it's basically strength. Um, technique and advance, I, I, I made an Ungabunga character. They, these were something with, like, the equivalent of Dark Souls dex builds. But I, I, if you know more about that, you can, you can let me know. Um, but... Yeah, uh, it felt really good. We were able to do a handful of bosses during the demo. Uh, I'll 
Yeah, I, I, you could you could see it on the screen, uh, but yeah, felt good. Comes out in September. The demo's free to play on Steam if any of you are interested in it. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, there, oh, there is one other system in the game that was kind of odd, but I got used to it, and it is the repairing system. Uh, your weapon will lose durability during a fight, and on any long fights, you will have to either a swap weapons. Uh, b before the fight's over, because your weapon will break otherwise. Or B, uh, use you've got a grinder, like to, like a sharpener. And it, you know, of course, just like a Monster Hunter world, it doesn't make sense, because even if you're using a mace, you have to use the grinder to sharpen the mace to get it back up to full uh, you know, durability. But you use, uh, you'll need to find an opening, like you know, find a time where you can stun the boss, and then instead of following up on it with more damage, use the grinder to repair your weapon on occasion. Or swap to your backup weapon. Uh, which, you know, of course, will be the second best thing that you've got. Um, but yeah, the, the game is gorgeous, the sound is gorgeous, the gameplay felt good, other than, you know, those minor complaints I have about the controls. I, um, but yeah, it's typical Dark Souls stuff, it's got the bonfires, it's these, these lights, this, they're called stargazers. Uh, you level up by talking to the uh, pretty lady in town. Um, it's Pinocchio, so there's Geppetto, there's a, uh, the thing that is glowing next to my right butt cheek right now is actually the cricket and a, uh, container uh he, he kind of you know gives advice and narrates what's going on but yeah a lot of fun keep an eye on this one uh full version comes out in september and the demo's free on steam right now if you want to try it